What's going on everybody? So today, I'm gonna be bringing you something different. And by something different, I mean, we're not dealing with the red rocket today. Today, we have my wife's vehicle. Now, I wanna have a quick disclaimer before I start going into this car. I do not want everybody to think that I'm pinpointing what goes on in this vehicle as every woman's vehicle. I care about my vehicle and I have the time to do my vehicle. She does not have the time nor the desire to maintain her vehicle. I'm expecting to find some strange things, but you know, we're gonna get into it. I did get messaged after my uh, exterior detail video um, by some people asking to show like my process on the inside. And to be honest with you, that's kind of a moot subject with the charger because it's never really that dirty. You're going to see the car in probably the dirtiest state it would ever be. I actually let it get a little dirtier than I normally would have. This way I have something to talk about, something to point out. But in general, it's always maintained, whether it be every other day, wiped down a little bit here and there. I'm, I'm a little weird. I'm definitely on the uh, top 10% of the weirdness scale. So what we're gonna do is give you two vehicles. You're gonna get a twofer and you're gonna enjoy it. So the first vehicle obviously will be this vehicle. We're just gonna go through a normal situation of cleaning. Now, this is just a couple of the things I plan on using or may use, I may not use, who knows. Again, as I say in all my videos, you can use any product you want. The processes are generally the same. The products don't have to be. So let's uh, take you off the tripod. I'm okay. Oh, take a deep breath. I hope we're all ready for this. Oh my god. Okay. I don't want anybody to say, oh, that's not every girl's car. Listen, I understand. Trust me, I understand. Um, let's just take a quick glance. There's uh, There are a few Tootsie, more than a few Tootsie Roll wrappers. I, I can only imagine what the hell's in there. Um... Food, receipts, that's uh, pretty cool. Uh, even the sticker is trying to peel itself off of the car to get out of the inside of it, which is, uh, it's a telling sign. Pretty interesting. So we're gonna get in here a little bit more. Oh, sweet Christ. Um, yeah, this is probably gonna be uh, a doozy. This is just, uh, t there's, uh, is that a bow or Mickey Mouse ears? That's something, that, that makes sense. There's, coins random coins in the seat that's cool and then as you can tell there's claw marks from some uh mysterious ghostly figure probably getting shut in here going get me out so we're gonna have to adjust that um other than that it's not horrible obviously when you get in here you know the point of this video is going to be to talk about my thought process. So my thought process immediately is going to be when I start, I'm gonna put some rubber gloves on because I don't know what the hell I'm touching in here and have a garbage bag very close by and I'm gonna start this whole process by throwing as much junk out as possible. You can't clean if it's a mess. So we're gonna do that. Then I'll probably go through and, and obviously there's, you know, oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know what the hell just flew off that but it's probably, toxic um we're gonna start by wiping the dash the interior parts off we're gonna clean the steering wheel off we're gonna give the chairs a good cleaning this is probably to the point where we need to use ultima interior so we may do that real quick because it looks oh boy we're gonna vacuum the hell out of this car and we're just gonna make it really nice for her we're just gonna clean it all up i'll end up doing the exterior because as you can see this is this is this is a special situation. So we're on to the back now. And um I I don't know. I don't <laughs> I don't know. I had I don't really have a lot of words. The back's not too bad. It's probably because she can't reach the back. Because if she could, if it was within arm's reach, and she has short arms, it would be a disaster too. Um, we're going to check the trunk out. I'm sure that that's probably completely clean because, you know, what the heck could she possibly do back there? And, okay. Uh, we got a rogue button. You know, water baby stuff. Whatever. Mr. freaking Tommy Bahama. Just chilling. 
he's relaxing. Quick story is I, I do clean this car, like I said, every couple weeks to a month. And one of the last times I did clean, I, I found a french fry underneath the seat. So I, I'm not anticipating anything good to be under these seats. But we will check and it's, you know, full disclosure. This is, uh, this is not ideal. This is not clean. This is not the way I want my girl to be driving around. And so, like I said, the uh, first step is going to be throwing on some rubber gloves. So, as usual, I'm in a, I'm in a horrible situation. What we're going to do, like I said, is we're going to start with trash removal. So, obviously, the first thing we saw when we opened this thing up was good old rolls of Tootsie. So, we're going to... Oh, there's money in here, too. Here's another uh, untold secret. When you clean out your wife's vehicle, if you find any money, that's your money now. I don't know how this happens. I really don't. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me right now? I hope that's not what I think it is. All right, this is crazy now. I don't know if you can see in here, but there's a there's a lollipop stick and a, a dime stuck. Kind of sort of expected stuff like this to happen. I don't know how long this has been in there. Your guess would be as good as mine. Jesus. And there's a, wow. Now we're gonna go to the bottom half. Jesus. Basically, you're just gonna wanna take all the wrappers out. You know, how many freaking sticks of bubble gum, how many candy wrappers could possibly be in here? Oh God, okay. I'm gonna vacuum off the top floor mat and then I'm gonna remove the top floor mat. The reason I vacuum it off rather than pulling it out and, and shaking it all everywhere is because that's stupid. I don't wanna shake it out. I'm gonna vacuum that, pull it out, and then vacuum underneath it. So that's what I'm doing. Now we're not giving this a super clean back. Oh my God. We're just giving this enough so that we can pull it out. How? How did that even... Jesus, there's a pen. How is there a pen there? Oh, Jesus. Okay, so now that the format's off, we can assess the situation. It's not good. We're gonna have to give this a thorough vacuuming. See how the... Petals are dirty. I, I'm not a big fan of that, so I'm gonna take some uh, quick detail spray. I'm gonna clean the petals with a towel. You know what I think we're gonna do? We're gonna just, now that that you know carpet's out, we're gonna just go right to the center console and we're gonna pull everything out. Just in case something weird's in there and it falls, I don't wanna clean twice. So. Oh my good God. So, there's just a whole lot going on here. I, I really don't know what goes on here. This is, uh, and you're, you're just going to want to start pulling everything out. I don't know. Uh, that's a typical thing to find. Hair clips. This makes sense, right? An empty mint case that could have got thrown out. And here's a full one. Tootsie Rolls. More Tootsie Rolls. Wrappers. Oh my god. I'm not ready for this. I am not ready for this, everybody. Oh, what the fuck is going on? Okay. See, this is what I mean by surprises. This is a half-melted, chewy chocolate chip granola bar. And, you know, that is definitely some liquidy chocolate. And there's, oh, oh boy. There's, okay. Ha <laughs> ha! Great. So, we're gonna take this out. We're gonna get the rest of this change out. And we're gonna clear out the rest of this. I don't think there's any more surprises. Literally disgusting. See, this is a situation. These are smarties. I mean, you don't wanna just throw those out. I mean, I might. I might indulge in a freaking smarty. What goes on? But all I know is, look, even the money. Even the. Oof. Can't. It's fucking. Granola bar, like granola, fuck, 
granola flakes. Is this a, is that a potato chip? I could just become rich digging for coins in here, to be honest with you. This could be my new job. Every day I just come in here and check and see if there's any loose change. See, there's stuff you couldn't see. You know what this reminds me of? This right here reminds me of any kind of like funny commercial where it's like, how did that get in there? And they just keep pulling things out. I don't even want to know. I really don't want to know if I want to dig in here because, oh, ain't that cute. I don't know what the hell I'm going to find. Ten. Oh, here we go. Water bottle. Here is a Macintosh scented air freshener that I can promise you, you don't smell at all. Somehow, the penny even has dirt on it. The money even is dirty, which is incredible. Next thing I like to do is just vacuum the shit out of this car. Now that we've done the vacuuming on the whole left side of the vehicle, what I like to do is take some kind of interior cleaner. This is just an Adams one I have. And uh, we're gonna just spray some of this on a cloth. We're gonna put this down here somewhere. And then we're just gonna basically, you know, wipe the insides of the plastics here. There's plastic on the bottom of the seat. We're going to wipe this off, if there's any dust, any debris in and around the buttons. You're going to make sure you just touch everything. The handles, um, the pedals are a good place to clean. If it doesn't clean well, I usually go in with a um, Q-tips and uh, a different type of cleaner. Now these are all things that no one's going to see, no one's going to know you did, but if you care about your car, you're going to know you did it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know, just take a quick spray, wipe this down, get up in here, see this area here? This is always dusty, give it a little extra spray. Wipe in there, get that dust off. You're basically just giving it a good wiping down so that it doesn't look like shit. Another thing is the doors. You're gonna wanna make sure you do the doors really well. What you're gonna do is go over this with a dry microfiber towel and uh, buff off any residues. The reason I have a uh, waterless wash spray is for the door jams. A lot of times this never gets cleaned properly. On my car it always does. But for this vehicle, we're just going to take the towel that's already a little soiled. You know, there's one thing that's kind of neglected a lot in cars, and that's the inside of the doors. So like with this car here, you got this area that goes around. What I like to do is just take my waterless wash and give everything a wipe down. If you're cleaning the car now, why not just get it? Same goes for all of this area. I already just wiped it down before. Also, don't forget, the back of the seats have plastic. So I usually like to take the cleaner, rub all around it, but don't forget to put your hand inside the mesh net get to the bottom of it, clean there. It's just nice to do. When it comes to the dashboard, again, my thing with that is you don't wanna spray on 
the dashboard because you're going to get it on the window. Usually what I like to do, a decent amount, and then I just like to go to town. Okay. Just make sure you don't leave any high spots, any debris. You're going to take this in the middle. What I usually do is put it in the middle, and you're just going to rub on the steering wheel, you perverts. Right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our fresh cloth now, we got a new one. We're gonna wipe off the right side of the dash now. All right, so now that that stuff's clean, we're coming into this area. What I recommend is for me, I'm just gonna take some detailer cleaner here, just spray it real quick. I'm gonna take a regular cloth that I don't mind ruining down in this cup holder. another potato chip you know I do have a cool little product by a company called Diamondite it's basically just a little brush I just stick it inside the vents and clean in there it's the little things that make the interior clean Here's another tip. Um, when I was cleaning everything, I pushed the steering wheel, the telescoping part in. When you're wiping everything down, make sure you pull that out so you can get the full extension of everything clean. So basically, I just gave everything a good vacuum and a thorough wipe down in here. Um, one thing that you do not want to forget is the inside on a vehicle like this. It needs to be wiped down as well. Uh, when we do the windows, this also needs to get cleaned in here. Again, we're only doing the inside of the windows. I'm going to be doing the outside of the car tomorrow. Okay, everybody. So, our last little, uh, you know, part, little piece of the puzzle here is, um, is going to be the windows. Again, we're using my favorite. It's McGuire's Glass Cleaner Spray. Now, I'm going to take my surgical huck towels. You might have seen this from the previous videos. Um... And basically what I'm going to do is just make my way around the window, flip over to a clean side, and that's it. This is made by Invisible Glass. It's a reach and clean. So basically if you can't reach the window, I mean I can reach this window so it's not a big deal, but I'm going to demonstrate anyway. If you can't reach this window, you're going to use this. Give it two like little mists, and basically any little part that I wasn't able to reach before, I can now reach. If you're like, why aren't you cleaning the, uh, why aren't you cleaning the outside glass? You're never gonna know if the inside glass is clean. No, I know the inside glass is clean because I'm using a quality glass cleaner. This is a part where, you know, the reach comes in more handy is because the steering wheel's in my way. It's annoying. Now we're gonna get rid of those claw marks. Any scuzz on the inside of the window is gonna disappear. Take a little spritz and then just go over the rear view mirror. Everybody, as our final little treatment to the inside of this car for you know our little spiff up maintain detail, we're gonna use 303 aerospace protectant protects beautifies vinyl rubber plastic leather fiberglass fiberglass <laughs> fiberglass so you just spray it on the cloth I'll show you what you do you spray it on you wipe it on you buff it off and you're done I'm gonna give this a nice shake spray this this will be the uh, last part to uh, the interior clean video so now you flip to the clean side and basically just buff it all off so what this does is it gives it a little bit of a sheen but it also protects it so it's a protectant and a dressing wipe everything
this is more important on a car like this than on mine because this car sits outside. Anywhere the car is actually gonna have contact with the sun, you know, it's a vehicle. You definitely wanna make sure you do this too. So that's it. This is the last little part of the interior cleaning. You just coat your dashboard and this stuff Buddy, is awesome. That's pretty much it for this car. Let's just look at the difference that happened here. Everything got wiped down. Everything is nice and smooth and dry. Everything is clean. There's no debris, well, except for that little thing that just blew in. There's nothing on the carpets. The pedals are clean. The dashboard's wiped down. Steering wheel's wiped down. Seats are vacuumed and wiped down. Not cleaned yet. I'm gonna do that in another video. Door jams are clean. The dashboard, the dashboard is wiped down, treated clean. The glass is clean there. Everything is nice and clean here. I'm gonna go around again. There's my phone, don't worry about that. But everything is clean. Again, don't forget this. And one other thing I forgot to mention is I did clean the vanity glass. Don't forget that. That's all good. I cleaned and I wiped off up there. Back doors, everything is cleaned, wiped down inside. When it comes to the back, everything is cleaned, wiped down, beautiful, beautiful. And it just looks more presentable. I don't know. I think it looks better. Actually, you know what? I could probably... There you go. Now it looks more presentable. Even better. All the windows, all the glasses, everything was cleaned, vacuumed, and wiped down. There wasn't a single surface that I missed. Last little part, cleaned, wiped down. Everything looks good. Um, what I'll probably do is put a nice little air freshener somewhere in here. Um, just way it smells nice for her as well. Right from here, we're gonna cut into the next one. It's gonna be my vehicle. My vehicle is a little bit different than this. There's pretty much nothing in the car. All I'm gonna have to do is probably vacuum or whatever. So we're gonna jump into that from here and then we'll end the video after. Oh, and just in case anybody wants to see why you always wear gloves, there's like dirt. All right, everybody, so now I've got this beast in here. So what I'm gonna do with this portion of the video, because there's gonna be a lot less to do, is I'm gonna just let you know basically what my mind frame is going into this situation. Like I kind of mentioned before, when we're doing this cleaning, to me, these are maintenance cleans. So basically, this is gonna be something that you're gonna be doing you know, once a week or, or once ever, however often you do it. For me, it's usually once or twice a week. So this is the state of my interior as it sits. Like I said, I did let it go. So there's dirt in my door jams, which is driving me bananas. Um, one of the big things you're gonna notice here is there is dirt, grime, dust, and I mean, obviously my feet are there. That's there. There's something that needs to be vacuumed. As it sits in here, I don't really keep anything in here. But over the course of the week, if I have spare change to put in there, I usually dump that in there or if my keys or something. So there is a little gunk in there and it's annoying. That I will wipe out. There's a little gunk in also in there. Um, I give this a quick wipe. This is my screen protector and it comes basically right off. One of the things I will talk about is the interior glass. When I do my little rant videos on Instagram, I put a suction cup and it did make a mark there. So I will clean the inside of the window. I'll also just do a quick wipe down of this. I don't really need to protect anything. Uh, I did it last week. I put some 303 aerospace on here. My car is garage kept at work and at home. It's never outside. I don't get UV rays you know, destroying my dashboard. I'm very fortunate, thank God. What I'm gonna probably do with all four floor mats is just take them all out, vacuum the carpet underneath, and just give these all a good wipe down. And the trunk, if anything ever comes into the trunk, it'll leave a tiny little scuff mark. That, no idea what that is. That's disgustingly horrible. What is that? I don't know, something probably, Oh, this is bad. This is all bad. This is this is disgusting. I'm not gonna focus on this much. Like the doors and stuff, it's all clean. There's nothing dirt. But like I said, I am not a normal person. I am very neurotic about my interior. I don't like much in there. I don't want any noises except for my engine and exhaust. That's it. I don't want to hear anything. I don't even want to hear a passenger. Neg, 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 neg. No, I don't want to hear anything. Okay. What we're gonna do is basically just start with the vacuuming. 
I didn't go over this last time, but when you're vacuuming, you want to make sure you're holding the the hose up because this will definitely rub against your paint. You don't want this to touch your paint. So you make sure you're always propping it up and holding it. We're basically just removing the loose debris here. So now that we have the floor mat out, we can actually see that there is some stuff and gunk and stuff underneath. Now I'm going to take some waterless wash. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to get my petals. You don't have to do this. I do. Okay. Make sure you're doing this area real quick. You take it. I'm just going to give a wipe down. This is definitely not super necessary for me because I do this all the time. This is the entryway into your palace. You want to make sure that it looks nice. Now when it comes to uh, floor mats, as you can see there is grime. You have two options, it depends on the soiled level. You can go with spray and wipe, which is what I'm going to do, or you can go with something like an all-purpose cleaner. Usually I would not ever ever need to go to that extent because my floor mats don't get that crazy. But if yours do and the shoe fits, you wear that bitch. You see this random ant? I'm gonna let him live. One thing I do that you don't have to do, but I do, is I take 303 Aerospace. It's nice to have a little protection. These are wear marks from your foot. Your foot is gonna be touching these all day, all day every day, and there's really no way to avoid it. I do have designated towels. I use the brown ones for my leather, so. Light mists. And you're just gonna take it, come in, and you're just gonna rub it in. Getting the seams here, nothing crazy. You don't need to do much here. It's a good maintenance product. And that's basically all I'm going to do to the seats. We're going to do the center. Just make sure we get it. And I buff it off. Now if you want, you do have a little leather here. You know, you can go through and wipe it. You could just take it, cut in. And that's it. So basically, like I said, my car's not going to be a big mess. It's not going to be a big mess at all. Everything just got done with the treatment. I sprayed everything down here with the leather. Quick detailer here, just like over there. That's all done. I did the back seats as well. Floor mats, all of them are cleaned. All the floors are vacuumed. As you can see, all the door jams are clean. All of the seats are clean. Everything is treated with the spray detailer. All of the doors were treated. Just like in the first car, don't forget to wipe these down. This dash, if you see, my hand is having to go pretty far. So it's gonna be a good way to give us some reach. A couple mists, and we're just gonna come in, and we're gonna come down. The window's nice and clean. As you know, there's not a lot of space back here, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your cleaning utensil and you're gonna get in all the way down to the back. Before we finish this video up, I just wanna show you real quick, other than the tiny little scuffs, everything's clean, that little stain thing's gone. All right, everybody, that's it. Sorry if you know you guys are subscribed to my channel for the Hell Kitty, and this really wasn't big on the Hellcat. What we did is we wiped the whole dash down, we wiped every console area down, we cleaned inside, we vacuumed the floors, we uh, we cleaned the floor mats, we treated the leather with a quick wipe down of detail spray for leather, um, cleaned the steering wheel, cleaned the touch screen, uh, and cleaned the inside of the windows. There's really not a whole lot you can do, oh, and the door jams, obviously. But as long as you clean the inside of your glass, you keep your car vacuumed, you don't eat 116 Tootsie Rolls, and throw the wrappers all over the place, I don't see there being a problem. As far as I'm concerned, if you don't want your car to look like my girl's car, clean it. <laughs> Try to clean it. Do something. Don't eat lollipops and, you know, Tootsie Rolls and, and freaking don't have a, a melted toilet slug.
freaking granola bar sitting in the freaking uh, console. If you found anything interesting in this video, anything helpful, if you found anything to be anything in this video, just give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me know what's going on. Thank you for watching, I appreciate you all. Uh, again, leave some comments, leave some likes, let me know what you thought about the video. If you have any other suggestions for other videos, let me know in the comments section below. You remember these? Coins. If you're cleaning out your girl's car or your boy's car, because there are girl detailers out there, any little thing you find, everybody, it's yours. Mine, mine.